What up investors and yes, what a day. Tesla stock has absolutely gone to the moon. This is as an after hours trading, they ported a fantastic quarter even though they had to close down Shanghai uh, for a short period of time due to the government restrictions on building the Model 3. They are still up to 650 bucks in after hours trading, hitting 660 basically at the high and it's just been a fantastic blowout. Um, I, I, I honestly don't want to see. What am I going to do? I do want to see on how this is going to react in the morning um, of how many people are going to have to short cover um, and see how how much higher this can go. This probably can easily. We're going to dive into the technicals. This could probably easily hit probably 700 or past my initial price target at $671. Again, we put that price target when the stock was like 350 to $400. And we thought this is going to be the high for the year. <laughs> that 5000 is coming in, boys, or the $6,000. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and look at some articles here. Uh, I, I highly recommend, first of all, listening to the conference call. Elon Musk and his team are just so fantastic to listen to. Uh, there's a couple little Schmidt bits that I'll point out that uh, were great. Um, so overall, uh, they rose and made money. Uh, you can kind of see here, this is the profit loss. Uh, so again, if it's uh, in the gray, that means they made money. So it's basically two quarters where they made a lot of money. And then again, this is where they lost a lot of money, which they said because they were investing extremely heavily in the Shanghai rollout for uh, in China for their Model 3s there. Um, and potentially, I think it was the 2021 in Berlin, they're gonna build that factory there. So they're gonna have uh, three key factories uh, amongst uh, the, the, the world. Um, so they, they met demand, uh, rose and drove 50% raise in global deliveries last year. So that means the, the, they, they particular said, what is a delivery? A delivery is when someone signs, orders a car, uh, they sign the paperwork to take over uh, the payments or buy it outright, and then that person gets the keys to the car. That is considered a delivery. Delivery doesn't mean it sits in a warehouse X Y Z. Where some people uh, used to in other industries call that as a delivery as a potential order, um, but that is more uh, what a delivery means on the Tesla books. Uh, uh, they, they're going to, again, pick up the pace. Uh, they want to do deliver more than half a million vehicles globally. Um, so that's up from the 367,000 from last year. Um, again, that the Shanghai plant is going to be a huge component of that. And we did uh, talk about it at the beginning of the, uh, the video of the potential lackluster of the, the coronavirus having to shut down the factory for not be wearing of spreading and of course the uh, model Y is coming online soon as well which I think shares about 80 to 85 percent of the same parts and mechanics of the model 3 so it's not going to be they don't say like uh, looking at logistic issues this is not going to be that much of an uh, entail um, like when they first switched to the model 3 it was a lot difficult because it shared basically no parts with the X uh, and with the S so it was very difficult to get the 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 machines the logistics all the processes of that in line and that this is just what happens when you're able to come down to making things work out like having this mad dream of building wow. electric cars if you, you look at t 10 years ago people making fun of it electric cars ah, pff, if electric cars would have worked uh, gm or ford would have done it right now um it, it's very much uh, uh it's very much possible um and so this is an interesting you know, so the analyst has the average selling price for a model 3 fell from 47 in the fourth quarter to from 20, uh, 5700 or 57,000, so basically $10,000 in 2018. Combined with deliveries and Model S, larger sedans and Model X's utilities fell from around uh, from 67,000 delivered. Um, but those are the the premium ones are the the uh, the X's of course and the S ludicrous modes those are going to be well over 90 to 100 thousand dollars so they're more focusing on the model 3 and bringing it to the masses and creating high volume um 
That being said, uh, let's go look at this article here as well. This is on Market Watch. Again, I'll link these down below. Um, so the stock has been on a tear. You can see here uh, they gave it kind of key points. The key point I wanted to point out. Uh, yeah, here it is. Elon Musk sounded a little impatient with one of the analysts who in inquired about a potential capital raise to pay down debt or fuel acquisitions. And, and early in the call, he said that retail investors, which is most of the people who listen to this channel and that invest in the stock, have a deeper, more accurate insights than many of the larger institutional investors and analysts, meaning skept all the skeptics, all the bears they had of saying, like, oh, the battery packs are going to blow up, they give you cancer, whatever, the radiation poisoning, I don't know, whatever they were making up, uh, that these uh, the battery packs just cause damage, the cars are made out of plastic and they fall apart on the road, the, the technology is terrible, it crashes, it makes you drive off a bridge, whatever they're putting out there, uh, they're just like, it's a saw through the BS. Um, so, all right, let's put these down and go ahead and jump into the stock. So this is just today, okay? So it kind of opened up fairly high, kind of sold off just slightly, and then came back with a revengeance, and then basically sold off into the quarter, because it hit almost at 590, um, and then just kind of sold off into basically the close of the day, which was uh, about $10 lower. Um, again, that's nothing too significant with a huge stock. That's five over hundred bucks, close to close to seven hundred now. Um, let's look at a much larger time frame, a yearly chart, which I like to look at. Um, so this is going to blow out my first estimate here uh, that I initially had, and I don't know if it's going to come back down to this level that I want to be able to buy this because uh, I will repeat it again. I bought it around two hundred, and I sold it after this wonderful quarter. Uh, in this past uh, last year and I sold around like 340 350 and I thought it was just gonna come down back to the lower 200s like 280s 250s again and I was completely wrong it just rocketed higher you live some you lose some right guys um, it was a very tough call but uh, that being said this thing is gonna be blown up so that we're gonna be looking at the price being way up here so this is nearly $55 higher than it currently is right now so that's a huge chunk of change um, trading that high up a little, like 11% um, up to these levels up here this could be a potential look at so if you see here uh, each time on the daily chart it breaks into the RSI it's it will stay up there for a couple days and kind of come back down and touch the uh, eight uh, the this is the the purple line is the eight exponential moving average on the daily um, so each time it hits this little red line kind of comes back it has to have the moving averages slightly catch up because it can't be literally a uh, 80 degree angle going straight up. It kind of needs to get some kind of pullback to kind of let the uh, be somewhat recent. So you can kind of see here. This was the RSI break. Here is an RSI break. Here is an RSI break. Here is an RSI break. And potentially we're going to have a huge RSI break as well. Um, but that could last for some time because it's going to need to clear out a lot, a lot of skeptic. Uh, uh, short sellers because they're gonna have to be able to uh, buy back the shares that they are shorted and this clearly could be exactly what happened last quarter where the first two days it just ran up like a madman kind of pulled back again to the eight and just traded higher and then just continued going off from there and I can clearly see that happen um, I'm actually running some calculations I, I'm thinking it's probably gonna hit a thousand dollars if they continue to beat and raise earnings because I think a lot of the firms have just now made the switch on understanding that Tesla is not a car company. It's a basically a technology company that makes cars. Um, it's basically the Apple um, of our time. Um, and this is going to be a fantastic stock. Hopefully it comes in a little bit so I can get nibble on it and to go from there. Uh, I want to, I want you guys to, I want your opinions on what you guys are doing with your Tesla stock or options. I know some guys who are making bank tomorrow. I know one trader he sent me a note saying he bought the March what did he say March 620 so that's in the money already 
and you bought it for like yeah f uh, f uh, four thousand dollars and I think I did the theoretical price and it was like double a couple people bought options that are expired this past Friday at the 600 level they they made four or five times their money it's just it's a it's been a crazy ride and it's something that this doesn't happen very often so it's hard for me to technically say oh this is should what happen next it's just everything just throw it out the window um, it's 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 Tesla it's a completely different stock than you see uh, day in day out again guys thank you so much for watching this is Ken from the dyslexic investor and I'll catch you guys on the flip side peace